hope you guys can hear me and see me okay. Hey, Pastor Kim, how are you? Nice to see you. Hey guys, you're coming in fast. Awesome. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I'm at the airport and it's quite noisy here. But hey, Miss Tina Brown, nice to see you. Heaven to Earth Worship. Hello, hello. Hey, Kim, how are you? Hi, Tech Whisperer. Uh, Michael, how are you? Hey, sis, how are you? I'm glad that you could make it today. I'm so excited. Yes. Hashtag the dream team. Guys, you know what to do. Kim just did it. Click on the little Perry guy right there and you'll be able to share it with your followers. I'm so excited to see you. I am delayed. I'm supposed to be in uh, on my way to Long Beach, or, or Long Beach already, but we are delayed. Hey, I am Superwoman. How are you, sister? So good to see you. Thank you guys for inviting your followers. I so appreciate that and accommodating our time change. Hey, Jay Fool. Uh, we have some awesome stuff for you today. I have my notes. I've been studying. I have some scripture for you guys. I think you're going to be excited about it. So if you have a pencil and a notepad, be ready. If you don't have one, that's right, we are unstoppable. If you don't have one, I'm going to give you 30 seconds. That's right. This is quick. 30 seconds to go get your notepad and your pencil. I'm a pencil girl, so pencil, but if you must, you can have a pen. That's okay. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you guys. Hey, Apostle LDJ, my goodness, you have an amazing wife. Every morning I watch her and she just gives you a shout out every single morning. I noticed that, sister. Every single morning you give, you give that man or God a shout out and that blesses me every single time. I mean, every day, no fail. Every single day you say that's your husband. I love your boyfriend and your husband. I love that. Hey, Aura, thank you so much for coming in. Erica, thank you guys so much for coming in. As you come in, keep those hearts going. That will let me know that you can see me and hear me okay, because I am at the airport, so it will be a little a little loud. Aprovechadas, Joy, hey, welcome. Yes, that is your honey, and I so appreciate that man of God. I so appreciate that blessing. I, I, I am glad for that blessing in your life. It blesses me every day. Uh, there, there go the hearts. You guys can see me and hear me okay. Awesome. Yes, you are, you guys, the, the two of you. The two of you are very, very blessed. So, who is this uh, curly haired uh, person over here? Catherine Story. Hey, Celeste from Florida. Welcome. Nice to see you. Yeah, guys, invite your followers and I'll tell you who I am. Welcome, Celeste. So glad that you are here. I'm so excited. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see me okay. Thank you, Pastor LDJ, for inviting your followers. So, I see the hearts. Uh, thank you, Celeste, for inviting your followers. My name is Catherine Story. I'm a fashion stylist, confidence building coach, and woman of faith. All three at the same time because I do not have to choose. Awesome, you guys see me and hear me okay? And I help women to look good from the inside out so they can do what they have been called to do. I have several books. Um, the second one, I think I have it with me. I do, it's in my bag somewhere. Thank oh, thank you so much. I gotta travel in style. I gotta represent my brand in DC Good very well. Oh, hello, welcome from Texas. I think it's Ashley. 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 That's a cool name. Awesome. So hold on one quick second. I'm making an announcement now, but we have time. Thank you, Tina, for inviting your followers. I so appreciate it. Yeah, guys, invite people from Periscope, from Facebook, and from Twitter. Okay. From Periscope too. Okay. Invite everyone. Everyone. We're gonna get excited. We're gonna get started in just a second. So last week was our first past the cast broadcast for the dream team is that three women of God that love what they do that know that they're called and um, have decided to step out in a big big way and share their calling and share what they have been called to do what we have been called to do oh thank you Aura I appreciate that thank you so very much so last week we talked about purpose what is your purpose how to find your purpose and today is the second part of that and the title of the scope today is, Are You Dressed by Faith Knowing He Will Open the Doors to Your Purpose? Okay? And that's the question today. That's the question. And as I was studying myself, reading and, and talking to God about it, I realized that many of us, uh, last week, many of you did not know what your purpose was. And hopefully you got a pretty good idea. Hopefully you know what that purpose is, but then now what? Maybe you realize that your purpose is really big. That is bigger than you. So what are you going to do? I don't know about you, but I would get scared. If I knew, and mine is pretty big too, so sometimes I gotta tell you, I get scared. But I'll tell you how to get back on track when you get scared. So when you realize that your purpose is bigger than yourself, your first human reaction is to say, oh my goodness, I cannot do that. How am I gonna do that? How am, how am I going to pay for that? How much? T how can I have enough time to do this? How is it gonna happen? Who am I supposed to help? 
how am I supposed to help them? And your mind just goes into 3,000 pieces, 10,000 directions, and you don't know what to do. But that is your human mind. And you are right. You cannot do it. You cannot do it. Hey, I'm from Texas. Thank you. Hello there. Woman of God. I love that. W-O-G. I love that. Um, and that's right, you cannot do it. I cannot do it, but that is not our job to do. Hey, Teresa from, N- from New Jersey, thank you for being here. You cannot do it on your own. That is correct. You are absolutely right. You okay. cannot do it on your own, and you're not supposed to, okay? So that's that space of overwhelm where you are, that you have no idea how you're going to pay for this, how things are going to happen, when, and who's going to help you, what people are going to come into your life. You have to stop right now. Don't worry about that. Hey, from New Orleans, thank you for being here. It's not your problem to worry. It's not your problem. Remember, all you have to do is be ready and be available. That's it. Nothing else. Be ready and be available. So, how do you stop the overwhelm? I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures that I want you to look up and they're really going to help you. The first one I received as a child. My mom read this to me every single night. Okay? Every single night my mom read this to me and I really didn't know what it meant as a child, but as I got older, I really, really got it. And I have to look it up from the Amplified, from the Amplified version, and I'm going to suggest that you do the same, okay? Hey, from Cleveland, thank you for being here. I'm going to give you, it's Psalms 4.8, okay? Somebody type that for me, Psalms 4.8, okay? Psalms 4.8, and I'm going to read it from the Amplified version, okay? Um, That's right, in prayer, that's right, amen. Thank you, sister, Psalms 4.8. In peace. And with a tranquil heart, I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety and confident trust. If you are laying up at night and you don't know how you're going to take care of things tomorrow and the day is too big, turn to your Bible. And if you can go to Bible Gateway, if you don't have an Amplified version, and read this because this will give you peace. That will take everything away, okay? Everything away. In peace. And with a tranquil heart, in peace and with a tranquil heart. That means that I'm going to let go of everything. That means that I'm going to trust that he's in control. That means that I have done everything that I can do, and that's it. I can stop right there. I know that he's going to do everything. Because if he called you, and we know that he did, and we know that he did, then you better believe that he's going to provide everything. He's going to provide everything. And I'm going to give you the next one that is one of my favorites right now. Um... Philippians 4.19. Philippians 4.19. You gotta write this stuff down, guys. Because this is really gonna help you because the time is gonna come when you're gonna get overwhelmed and you're gonna get really worried and you're gonna know what to do. Good, good evening. Thank you for being here. Philippians 4.19. It's freezing. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm at the airport and things are a little bad. Um, Philippians 4.19. If it's freezing, Cynthia, come back and come back in, okay? Come back and come back in. That's sure that helped it. Philippians 4.19. Thank you, Soman. Yes, he's not a man that he should lie. And he does not lie. Amen, Lady Anne. And this is, again, from the Amplified Version. I'm loving the Amplified Version because it really makes it even more clearer. And my God will liberally supply, meaning fill, fill unto full, your every need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. According to his riches. Now, does anybody know what are the riches of God? What is, what is the, the limit of his, of his riches? Do we know if he has any limit to the things that he can provide for us? Who can tell me if there's any limit to what God has access to? That's right, there's no limit. And he says that he will liberally supply your every need, not just some stuff, not some time, every, every need according to his riches according to his riches so my sister and my brother if you're watching and you know that god has called you he's gonna provide all your needs all your needs but there's a caveat there's a caveat and that actually was read by my sister that really got me thinking that's how we started today there's a caveat okay you guys are ready for that are you guys are ready for the caveat you have to seek first his kingdom you have to first first his kingdom because what happens is that we go and we get worried and we think i don't have enough time so i have to stop reading my bible i have to stop going to church i have to stop getting having my quiet time i have to stop praying and i have to work on what god has called me to do 
which is crazy. I know, I've done it. I'm going to be honest and tell you that I've done it. Because we worry, we say, hey, I'm called. I know I'm supposed to do this thing. So I'm doing a good thing because I'm doing what God has called me to do. But you cannot do it outside of His will, outside of His presence. Do you understand that? He is a jealous God. Amen. Yes, He is. So you cannot do it outside. Hey, poor chopper, my brother, you're ready. That's good. That's so good. Yes, sister, I'm glad that you are. I'm talking to all of us. But we can worry or fear not. Oh, my goodness, that's coming next. That's coming next. God first, and then everything will be added unto you. And everything means what? What does everything mean, guys? Everything means everything. He provides everything. We have to seek first, and then He'll provide everything. He will provide everything. He will provide everything. Now, there's going to be a time when you're going to have fear. There's going to be a time where you're going to say, I don't see a God. You asked me to do this thing and it's too much for me. It's too difficult. I cannot do it. Who has ever felt that way? Who has ever felt like the world's on your shoulders and you have no idea how things are going to happen? You have no idea how you're going to do that. Maybe he called you to teach. Maybe he called you to write a book. Maybe he told you to quit your job and you're like, but God, I'm a single mother. How am I supposed to do that? God, I owe all this money. How am I supposed to do that? You want me to preach? God, but I don't even know how to do public speaking. You want me to go to other countries? God, I don't even like to fly. How on earth am I supposed to do that? And, and on top of that, I have a past. Who has a past here? Let's just be honest right now. Let's just put, let's just do real talk right now. Who has a past right now and believe that that is in the way of their calling? And believe that that's holding you back, that because of your past, you cannot do what he has called you to do. I'm asking you right now, who has a past right now? Somebody right now has a past. And you are worried that that's holding you back. And you are worried that you have not been a, a perfect Christian. That's why I care. Everybody has a past. But sometimes we don't want to admit it. And we all have done things, all of us. My, my hands, my feet, everything is up. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling everything up. I do have a past. We all have a past. But he doesn't care. Remember, he doesn't call the qualify. He qualifies the call. That's what he does. He qualifies the call. So when fear comes, when fe amen, when fear comes, and it's going to come, not if, it's going to come. Because when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, your eyes are going to lie. Did you know that your eyes lie to you all the time on a regular basis? Our eyes are nearsighted. You know what that means? You can see here. I'm nearsighted, so I wear contacts. I can see very well up to here, but if I have to look further away, I can. I can look. And I am telling you that I have to change my eyesight. I need to be able to see farther up, farther into the future, because what's here, this is temporary. What's here in front of me is temporary. We are not of this world. We are going somewhere else, and He has given us amazing things amazing things he has he is already preparing for us amazing things so when fear comes when fear comes and you better believe that it's going to come yeah amen amen you gotta believe that fear is gonna come i want you to head over to romans 8 every christian should memorize romans 8 and i'm gonna do my best to do it because i believe that it has it has the the the, the tools that we need in order to Keep our eyes on the prize, and Jesus is the prize. Amen? So let's go to Romans 8, and I want you to go to the Amplified Version. I hope you're taking notes. Who's taking notes? I want to see a one. Can you guys type a one if you're taking notes? I hope you are, because all these scriptures going to help you. When the time comes, you're going to say, my sister Catherine said this one day, and she told me that if I went to the Bible, that this was going to help me. Amen. Awesome. She said that this is going to help me. And now that she said that, I'm just telling you where to go. And that's the word of God. All I'm, nothing that I'm saying is of me. Everything is from the Holy Spirit. Okay, so Romans 8. And you can read the whole thing. But I want to tell you where you can go. Where you can go. And this is going to be very powerful. I'm, this is going to hurt some people, but I, trust me that this is in love. Trust me, this is in love. Do you believe that I love you? Do you believe that I'm telling you these things in love? I hope that you do. I really, really do because it comes in love. Are you guys ready for this? Somebody needs this today. Somebody needs this today. And I need it. I needed it. I needed it. So let me read this for you right now. Romans 8, verses 5. Romans 8, verses 5. Thank you, uh, Sister Ann um, Taylor. Thank you so much. All right. Romans 8, verses 5. We're going to start on verses 5. And it's going to be from the Amplified. Awesome. Thank you, my brother. From the Amplified version. 
For those who are living according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, which gratifies the body. Let's stop right there. That's, that's harsh right there. That's very harsh. For those who are living according to the flesh, set their minds according to things of the flesh. Ooh, that's rough. I, I read that today and I was like, ooh, ooh, where are you setting your mind to? Where are you setting your mind to? That's the question right now. Where are you setting your mind to? Are you doing it as to gratify your body? Are you do yeah, that's why I gotta rip off that bandage. Are you doing it to uh, glorify your, to gratify your body? But this is the good part. I know it's gonna hurt, but I'm gonna give you the good part now. But those who are living according to the Spirit, set their mind on the things of the Spirit. And you know what that means? His will and His purpose. Oh my goodness gracious, when I read that, when I read that, His will and His purpose. That's all we need. That's all you need. Set your mind on His will and His purpose and you're done. His will and His purpose and you're done. That's all you have to do. Now, the, that's right, kingdom minded. But the mind of the spirit is life and peace. The spiritual well being that comes from walking with God both now and forever. Oh my goodness. You got to write that down. You have to write that down. That was verse 6. Now, uh, actually, I read the, f the, beat, the, f the last part. I'm going to read the beginning again. Now, the mind of the flesh is death for now and forever because it pursues sin. What are you pursuing? What are we pursuing? What are we pursuing? But the mind of the spirit is life and peace. The spiritual well-being that comes from walking with God from now and forever. So if you have no peace, this is going to hurt. I'm saying it in love. This is going to hurt. I'm saying it in love. If you have no peace, you know what that means? You're not pursuing His will and His purpose. If you have no peace right now, if you have anxiety right now, if you are depressed right now, you are not pursuing His will and His purpose for your life. My brother and my sister, that's not what I want for you. That's not what I want for me either. I want to have peace. I want to have peace. And remember what we read on Psalms 4 and 8. In peace and with a tranquil heart, I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety and confidence. In safety and confidence. Safety and confidence. Do you get that? Is that blessing someone today? I hope that it is. I really hope that it is. I really, really, really do. Because it's really blessing me. It's really blessing me. My time is almost up, guys. But I gotta leave you with this. I gotta leave you with this because it's way too good. It's way too good. Can I take five more minutes, sister? Can I take five more minutes? I know I'm supposed to go, but I, I gotta give you this. I gotta leave you with this. I cannot. Yeah, I'm speaking kind of low because it's too loud here. I'm already loud enough. Okay, hopefully that helps. Hope, thank you, sister. Hopefully that helps. First John 4:18. First John 4:18. Amen. Amen. First John 4:18. Let me know when you have it. Let me know when you have it. First John 4:18. First John 4:18. First John 4:18. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. First John 4:18. Yeah, guys, this is part of the Pastor Cast with the Dream Team, and it's awesome. It is, I'm glad that we're doing this. This is totally spirit-led. It's totally, in, yes, in one prayer closet. Amen. Amen. Here we go. Here we go. Here comes the Dream Team for sure. Oh, my goodness. First John 4, 18. I love this verse so much. There is no fear in love. Dread doesn't exist, but perfect, complete Full grown love drives fear because fear involves the expectation of divine punishment. So, so the one who is afraid 
of God's judgment is not perfected in love, has not grown into a sufficient understanding of God's love. Oh my goodness. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? If you have fear, you have not grown into sufficient understanding of God's love for you. That blew my mind and that was for me. I need no fear because he is with me and if he call me, he's gonna provide, he's gonna open doors, he's gonna give me everything that I need, he's gonna put in my life people that I need, everything that you need. So if you have fear, you gotta go into the word. If you have fear, you have to go to the word and you have to grow because you're still a baby. You're still a baby and that's okay because babies grow. That is okay because babies grow. Spend some time in the word and remember that he who called you is faithful. He who called you is faithful and if he called you, he's going to provide every single little thing. But you have to seek him first. You have to seek him first. And I say that to Catherine first and then to all my brothers and sisters all around the world. We have to seek his kingdom first and all these things will be added unto us. And all these things means what guys? All these things mean everything. Everything, everything. The husband, the business, the house, the car, the kid, your kids being saved. Everything. Healing, peace and understanding. Amen. Amen. Everything means everything. Oh my goodness gracious. I hope this helps someone. I really do. Watch the replay. Share it with a brother or a sister that's going through a really hard time today. And let the word of God, the Lord of God, wash over them. Wash over them. Amen, sister. I am. It helped me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to watch a replay myself because that was all on the spirit. That was all on the spirit. Thank you. Bless you, sister. Bless you. Amen. Um, Sister Tina, can you put some um, emojis here? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass the cast to you. i got to go and listen to what you have to say. So before we go, can you please put, uh, put some emojis here so we can follow you? There she is, Tina Moore Brown. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, my sister. Uh, Sister Tina Brown is going to start in about one minute. So you want to follow her. There she is. There she is. There she is. Oh, my goodness. Follow her. Follow her. She is awesome. She's an awesome woman of God. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And I'm feeling funny because I have to be tame today. I have to be tame because I'm in public. But next week, I'm going to be my loud self. <laughs> next week, I'm going to be my loud self and get excited. And get excited. So I hope that you watch us next week, Thursday. Yes, you were. Oh, yes, I was. And you know, you guys know that this is not me. You know that I'm loud and I get excited. But I, I got to keep it cool. I got to keep it cool. <laughs> Amen. The cat is being passed. Amen. Amen. Okay. okay, guys, go jump on Tina. Go ahead. Go ahead. She's live. She's live. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let's go watch it, guys. Let's go watch it. Elton. Oh, thank you so much, Teresa. You are very welcome. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're here. Uh, down about my daughter. Amen. Amen. Uh, amen. All right. Let's hold over. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. God's in control. God's in control. Let's go over to, um, I'm doing awesome. Let's go over to watch Tina Moore Brown. Hey, my brother, Tina. There she is. Tina Brown Moore is going to be on on the Pastor Cast. So let's go over there. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.